in Wolka, two kids are going to be okay, thank goodness, after the car that they were inside was stolen right from a very busy gas station. Yeah, this all happening at the Cumberland Farms on Meriden Road. Fox 61's Lauren Zenzi has been on top of this story since the early morning hours. Lauren, I know you've secured an interview with the chief in our 6 a.m. hour, so folks can join us for that, but you've learned a lot of new information already. Keith and Marco were hoping that an update on the suspects. They believe that three suspects are out on the loose and they can all be facing kidnapping charges and other hefty charges as well. We are here at the Cumberland Farms where this happened last night at about 1130. And I actually just had the chance to speak with the clerk who was working during the hours last night. And he said it was just terrifying. Uh, he said right outside of the window right here, he said he was able to see the car pull in and then the one person get out of the royal blue car, hop into the van and pull out and getting in and in that incident, hitting not only one, but two cars. Each of the cars hit a vehicle, one backed up right over to the gas pump. The other one hit a car that was parked. The person that was parked actually had to get to work, the clerk was saying, but he said it is just his ears are still ringing. That's how he was describing it. He said the mom was standing in there sobbing and screaming. Her son had a cast on his leg. We, we aren't sure if he had a broken leg or what the situation was. But in my earlier interview at 4 a.m., the chief was saying that the son had crutches. So he was hobbling, trying to get the license plate that sped away uh, in that blue Kia car. They are still looking for that. But unfortunately, what the chief says is a lot of the times when incidents happen like this, like an incident as severe as a carjacking, unfortunately, a lot of the time the cars are stolen, but they are still looking for that and they are still looking for the three suspects. So, like I said, the clerk that was here last night, he is still here this morning. Unfortunately, he's not able to do an interview with us here on Fox 61 News, but he did say, Keith and Margo, that his ears are still ringing and that the mom was just devastated. So he's so happy to hear that the daughter was recovered safely and that they were reunited once again. We'll be checking in in just a little bit, but for now, live and Wilkett at Cumberland Farms on Meriden Road. Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News.